Snail and Newt gaze at the sweet strawberry tart. You don't think they'll be mad if we take a nibble, right, Snail? I don't think so, Newt. What if they left it for us? Then it would be rude for us not to eat it, replied Snail. I hate being rude. We better eat the whole thing. Snail and Newt begin to devour there the tart. There it was, the mysterious treasure they had hiked, biked, and climbed to find. We're rich, said Newt. I do hope we don't get hoity-toity, said Snail. <laughs> yes, hoity or toity, but not both, said Newt. Dad, wake Dad, up! Dad. Keep reading! Uh, sorry, sorry, I'm awake. was quiet. The loudest sound was the crickets in the long grass. Snail held Newt's hand as the changes gripped him and he became a true creature of the underpond. <laughs> Newt, <laughs> Newt, I would give anything to go with you. If only I could. I'm sorry, Bob. You take it. If only I could. And when Newt couldn't stay in the open air for another moment, he let go of Snail and slipped under the surface of the pond. <laughs> Goodbye, Newt. God, it got me too.